Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Another day of testing on the continuous ketone monitor. I got this at KetoCon. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say that if you have been following along. For those of you who are new, I am Lindsay. I follow a keto-friendly way of life. I share what I eat in a day videos. I share recipes. I do a whole variety of different things here on my channel. I would love to have you consider subscribing and hanging around for a while. For my returning viewers, we're trying something brand new and I am so like bleh about it. I don't even know. Today we're trying out sardines. Sardines. <sighs> to say that I'm not looking forward to this would be an understatement. A little bit of context. I um, have been wearing this CKM, Continuous Ketone Monitor, since the last day of KetoCon, and therefore I am in the final days of my actual trial. I have just over four days left with this continuous ketone monitor. I have been finding it interesting to say the least to figure out what input changes my ketone readings. In the past, I have used a CGM, continuous glucose monitor. Um, I used NutriSense in order to get that, which means that they help you acquire the script and be able to get the actual CGM. They also have a program where you can do all of the different tracking. They give you different pointers and ideas on how to navigate your own glucose readings. Um, you can put in little notes on their app. I found it really helpful and useful. I will put NutriSense's link down in my description box below. I do work with them and if you put in your email address to get more information from them. It does support my channel without any extra cost to you. Um, I know that the CGM situation, it can be pretty expensive and it's, it's a little bit overwhelming <laughs> when it comes to things like that, but using it for a short period of time, I did find some quality information about my own chemistry. So if you are seeking that, there will be a link down below. And if you're not, I totally get it. That's uh, not a necessary tool in order to follow a low carb keto way of life. So there's that. Neely from Indigo Neely and I, we do a coffee chat every Tuesday. It's a live stream. If you are available midday on Tuesdays, we would love to have you join us. We flip flop back and forth between go going live on her channel and going live here on my channel. I'm gonna link the live chat that I'm talking about here in the description box, I hope, if I remember. She mentioned some sad news. Um, she also got a CKM when we were at KetoCon together and her sadness is that her CKM popped off before the, the timer was done. It has a 14 day timer and it fell off when she was like drying off her arm. I have actually been like really kind of petrified that that's gonna happen to me because I can't get another one and at least until it gets onto the market and I really wanna test all the things. So. I wound up asking my husband to wrap my CKM with some uh, some tape here. <laughs> so hopefully it does not fall off. Um, I'm trying to be so careful with it because I did have my CGM fall off the last like, I wanna say last two or three days that I had it back in whenever it was that I had mine and I was doing my testing. So I'm really, concerned that it's going to pop off because I bump it wrong or I get it caught up on it. I'm clumsy. Side note, I am very clumsy. I run into walls all the time. I scrape against things all the time. I'm just, spatial awareness sometimes is not my strong suit. So I, I'm really concerned that I'm going to do something to cause this thing to pop off. So we've got a little, a little protection here. It's very attractive, let me tell you. Okay, we've had much context, many things, I need to have some food. It is 10 a.m., 10.01 a.m. Let's see, what does the ketone meter show? We are at three or 0 0.3. I have noticed that there are a variety of things that increase my ketone readings, and there are loads of things that just seem to keep it kind of at a very, very flat line right there between a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.4. My, um, my ketones are never high, true story. The highest they have been the entire time that I have used the CKM is a 1.6, which is this spike right here in the center. And then this right over here, this spike right there is a 1.4. And I have figured out that coconut oil and butter combined fat bombs cause a significant 
increase in my ketone readings. So that's pretty cool. Um, I've noticed stress drops my ketones and I have noticed that if I, if I have food or fat, it takes my body a couple of hours to finally register that there is a change. I am going to try out the sardines and I, okay, let's reverse for a second. The sardines conversation came up in that live stream as well. Neely was planning to do a day of sardines and see what that did to her numbers. And because of the fact that her, her CKM is no more, it bit the dust, I told her that I would pick up the torch and I would eat sardines and I, mm, I'm gonna struggle with this because I'm not a huge seafood person to begin with. I will easily eat salmon, that's not a problem for me, and other sort of meaty fish I can sort of handle depending on how it's prepared. So I've never had sardines. We're gonna see how it goes. I don't know how to eat these things, and Anita over at Ketogenic Woman has videos where she shows different ways to consume the sardines. I'm gonna refresh my memory on some of her videos and make a choice. I might just wind up saying, pick them up, swallow them whole. <laughs> I don't know. And I know a lot of you out there that have done sardines are probably just like, stop being a baby, get over it, just hork them down and move on with your life, which will probably be the path that I take. I think I'm gonna do what she did here. She just literally peeled open the can, picked up a sardine with her fork and just knocked it back. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Oh my stars, we're doing it. Okay, it's happening. All right, I have my can of sardines. I have some salt from Redmond. I love Redmond Real Salt. I buy the 25 pound bags and yeah, I'm committed, committed. Um, and I have my fork. So I have the um, Season brand sardines. These are skinless and boneless. And while I'm sure that my mind appreciates that for the sake of consumption, my, my uh, understanding of foods makes me kind of disappointed in that because I think that there's probably plenty of nutrition I could be receiving from the bones, but Oh my stars. And this is packed in 100% olive oil. Okay. Oh my stars. One drawback is I won't know if the, oh my word, they're fish, they're fish. I won't know if it's the olive oil that's really increasing the ketones, but I guess that truly does not matter. I would probably do better having this flat on the counter. Oh, it spit at me. Just get that wiped up right there. Smells a little like cat food. Sure does. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're going. We are going. Oh my stars. How, how many of you are in there? I can't get a whole one. They're all kind of... Cheers. Huh. My apprehension was unfounded. This is not that bad. This is not that bad at all. Maybe it's easier to get these down because there's no little eyeballs looking at me. <laughs> all right, um, I've eaten it all except for the the leftover olive oil. Oh, there's a little, a little bit, a little bit right there. So I don't know if I should just go ahead and consume this olive oil or just consume the meat. I'm finding little, little tiny flakes of fish. So. I mean, I should probably just knock it back. I mean, what's it gonna hurt? Your readings, Lindsay, it'll hurt your readings. Okay, I have finished one tin of sardines. There's a little olive oil left. Not gonna be a big deal. Now that that's all done, I am going to probably give myself two hours or so for the body to manage that input. Still at a 0.3. Having continuous access to my numbers means that I cannot not check my ketone readings more frequently than every hour or two. Like I, I try, I try hard, it doesn't work. So it has been about 30 minutes since I ate the sardines in olive oil. And I'm already up to a 0 0.5, so improvement. Very cool. Um, and it has been that way for 15 minutes apparently. So I uh, I think that the sardines in olive oil impacted my ketones pretty rapidly. I finished eating those 
around what, like 10, 10, 10, 15 ish, somewhere in that range. So yeah, we're doing not bad, not bad. It only took about 15 to 20 minutes for my body to say, oh, that's high fat. Let's go ahead and start making the ketones, pump them out. This data plus the information I got from eating my butter, coconut oil, fat bombs is all super helpful to me. It's gonna be some extra tools that I keep in my toolbox of things that I can use in order to give me boosts of energy, obviously, um, and increase what my, my chemistry is doing as far as ketones are concerned. I was already aware that higher fat produced higher ketones in my body. My everyday baseline food consumption though tends to rely heavily on meat and then other things to go along with meat. You know, here I've got some, some steaks that I'm defrosting and, and I would much, much rather eat a steak than eat just pure fat bombs <laughs> or just eat a tin of sardines. So I, I have to kind of work some sort of balance here because having the higher ketones is fun. I, I find it interesting and entertaining. Um, and I don't know, I don't know. I do think that my ADHD-like symptoms are also a little bit more manageable when I have higher ketones. That is a sort of an offhanded anecdotal observation I have made. Um, but I just, I just love eating, eating the protein. <laughs> once all of these tests are done, once my time is finished with the CKM, I will work through how I want to make actionable steps using this information. So anyway, I also tend to just fly by the seat of my pants and not really care about the aftermath. <laughs> Keep moving forward.